Hello everyone, Jedidah10, aka Jed from Snowby.com here, and this week let's talk about balanced snowboard progression. So, everyone loves to get better at snowboarding and improve your skills, but if you're not doing it balanced and in a smart way, you tend to leave other skills behind, and it's a really common mistake that people make, where one skill gets way too far ahead of the other skills, and it makes it really hard to go back later and improve those other skills. You start to rely on one skill too much. So, let's talk about about balance progression today and how to do it correctly. Okay, so I'm dealing with a little bit of a cold right now, so you're going to have to deal with me fighting through with my voice and the stuffy nose this week, but hopefully it'll be gone by next week, but we'll just fight through for now. So I'm riding with Nav Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction this week and a friend, so he's just helping his friend progress with freestyle and we're just taking it easy in the terrain garden. So... Basically, balanced progression is all about even progression of each of your skills. And the most common mistake people make is relying too much on one spin direction. So they start spinning front side, for example, and that's all they spin. They just spin front side for the rest of their life. Front side ones, front side threes, front side fives. And meanwhile, your back side spins, your switch spins, all of those other spins aren't progressing at the same rate. And they're leaving it behind. And they become one of those guys that really relies on frontside spins of every jump. And that's really what you want to avoid. Okay, so with this lap, it's all one run. Except for little bits that I cut out where we were just standing around and talking or doing nothing. So what I'm trying to show you here is to balance all your spins out. So you don't, you're not just practicing one spin. So on this lap, you're going to see me do all four spin directions. And coming up right here is a cab three, I believe. So I'm striding switch, spin a little three. So it's not even a big three as you saw, it's just a tiny little drop off a side hit. But even these little things and little features in the mountain and just making sure you're practicing and hitting jumps and side hits and little features in all the different spin directions, that's really good for your versatility. I mean, most of us aim as riders to be able to ride everything on the mountain. We'd love to be able to just spin threes of everything and hit any feature we see, right? So if you become one of those guys that can only spin one way really well, it really handicaps you because some features are better for front side spins, some are easier for back side spins. And if you want to progress later, you're going to have to be able to spin front side, back side, switch back side, switch front side. And you really want to be able to mix it up. It's super impressive when I see someone that can hit four jumps in a row and spin all four directions smoothly and nicely. And it's a really rare skill that a lot of people leave behind. And it's not something you want to neglect because later on it's going to be harder for you to progress those skills because you're going to be so reliant on, let's say for example, you practice your front side spins and you're going to become so reliant on it that when you try to go back side spins or switch spins, it's going to feel so awkward that you're not going to want to do it. So you're going to go back to front side spins and the gap just keeps growing bigger and bigger and it gets harder and harder for you to go back and practice. So really what we're trying to do here is make sure you're doing all the skills in your riding. So here I'm going to, I think it's cab 270 on, 270 off on this box into a backside three into a frontside three. And by the way, you don't have to do it how I'm doing it now, which is focusing on a whole bunch of different skills on the same run on the same day. That's not how you have to do it if you don't want to. I realize that a lot of people listening to this, they might not be able to do all four spins. They might still be working on that first spin. And that's perfectly fine. You focus on that one spin, get it nailed first, make sure you get it before you move on. And that's fine. There's a difference between focus and becoming too reliant on one skill. So let's say you can't do any spins yet and you're trying to get backside spins. That's perfectly fine. Focus on that. Do backside spins for an entire week nonstop if you want to. But it's important that once you have those backside spins down, you start adding other skills. You don't keep working on backside spins until you're doing backside sevens and you can't do a single switch spin or you can't do a frontside spin. So there's a fine line between focusing down on one skill and becoming too reliant on that one skill. And that's the line that you're going to have to be careful of. 
Okay, so coming up here, I think I'm just doing a simple back five into a few mini jibs at the bottom of this terrain garden. But basically how I like to make sure I'm practicing everything is sometimes I like to take my riding down a notch because sometimes if you're hitting big jumps or bigger features than you're used to, it can be a bit intimidating to practice your weak spin on a huge jump. I mean, I, I totally understand that. Every rider understands that. But it's okay to bring your riding down a notch so that you can practice and work those fundamental skills. And that's how I like to do it a lot of times. And even if you're just riding around, having a fun day on a mountain, you can always take advantage of natural features. There's so many little side hits and little things you can do on the side of the mountain. You saw at the start of this video, I did a cab three off a little side hit. It was just a tiny little hit. And it's not like you're going for big air or anything. You're just practicing some basic spinning skills. And it's great. It helps your overall riding. And it's fun to be able to just ride anything on a mountain. And no, you're not going to get it all right away. No one gets it right away. But you can practice it, right? And practice eventually leads to you stomping and landing all those different spins whenever you're just taking casual rides around the mountain. Okay, so coming up here is the last of the spins. I said I was going to do all four spins. So I did cab three, back three, front three. I did a back five. And here is a switch back three. So I'm using the whole mountain to make sure I'm practicing everything. And this is how I like to do it. You don't have to do it this way. As I told you earlier, it's perfectly fine. You can focus on a whole bunch of different skills and break it up into days or into weeks or however long you want. It's just as long as you're remembering to mix it up and not focus too much on one skill, that's the important part. So you want even progression. Don't let one skill get too far ahead of all your other skills. Mix it up. Make sure you're a balanced, versatile rider that can spin in all four directions and hit anything you want to hit. It's going to take practice, but if you keep practicing, you can get there. Okay, so I have one bonus clip here for you guys, and it's to bring up the point that everybody falls, even pros. So here's my friend Nav Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction demonstrating that for you guys. Oh no, I have to check, I hope so. <laughs> so one more thing before you go here's my free snowboard gear guide that i created for my readers at snowme.com it will teach you how to pick the perfect snowboard setup that's right for you so it will take you through sizing your snowboard which snowboard's best for you what bindings should you choose how to choose boots that won't make your feet hurt how to choose the right helmet and a whole lot more so if you want this free guide here's your chance to grab it